everyone, Angela again today. I hope you guys are all well um, and keen to do a little crafting with me. Um, I'm going to be working on a little project that you can put into your journal. Of course, I'm going to be putting it into my baking bliss journal, but you guys can use this with any paper that you have. And of course, put it into anything journal you like at all. So go and grab one of these mailers, any mailer size will do. I'm going to trim mine down. I'll give you some measurements of what I'm going to trim it down to. And let's get started with this today. All right, so um, I have got this mailer. Um, it's slightly longer than six inches, but I'm going to trim it to a, a height of six inches. And I'm going to do that with my... Um, ruler and my craft knife you can use your paper trimmer your scissors draw a line with a pencil whatever you have as usual All right i'm going to just do that it's going to give me a neat edge but also perfect for what i want to use it for today and the paper that i want to use so we've got that bit done so it's six inches in height or 15 centimeters and the width of this particular one is 23 centimeters or nine inches so if you've got something larger trim it down to the size um or you know if it's not quite the the length that doesn't matter either you'll see what we're going to do um and get the idea of what you're going to do and guys as i always say to you please just use what you have if you don't have an envelope you can take two sheets of normal copy paper join them together and make a sort of pouch like an envelope here as well that would work it doesn't need to have a window i'm going to cover the window up today it's just what i have so don't worry about the window all right so um what i've done then is and i'm going to just put this to the side um i'm going to just talk you through here i have made a fold and the fold is at the uh 10 centimeters or four inch mark all right so i have done that and and i've taken my ruler like this and i've used my bone folder just to um, make a fold line a butter knife works just as well if you don't have a bone folder i've then just it's, it's this is the window side sorry it's from the right um i've then just folded that over and um gone like that with my bone folder and there you have a fold line so you've got one side like that and i think this one's five inches yeah one two three four yeah and this is four all right so there you have it okay so we're going to decorate this today um and you know i love all the things that you can do with a mailer junk mail especially is really handy to rework and i keep all of mine so what i'm going to use here is i'm going to use one of my mini pages um and this is the mini page that i've chosen to use uh i'm just trying to find the other side of it which i cut off right so it actually looks like that and i've measured this to fit on the side of my page like that okay so we can just turn that over you can see that's going to fit like that and i've cut off this bit which i'll use at a later point um so don't worry about um wasting that we will find a use for that so this is the mini page of course guys whatever paper or packs you have go right ahead and use it you are after seeing a, uh, um, a comment or so that was sent to me, I thought I would just mention that nobody's under any obligation to buy any of my digital kits from my store uh, to follow along with these YouTube videos. These YouTube videos are here for you and for your pleasure. It's free of charge like everybody's is, unless, of course, you're on Patreon. Um, I don't have a Patreon account because I feel I want to bring all of this and share this with you. So please you look around for what you have. If you don't have digitals, but you have 12 inch paper or 8 by 8 inch paper, grab it and follow along. All right. So just so that you know that. Um, right. So I'm going to stick this down quickly. I'm going to use my, um, I've got Fabri-Tac glue in the sugar belt tube uh, at the moment, although I do have both. Um, but this is the one I'm using today. So I'm going to just stick that down and I'm not stitching on it. So I'm being quite mindful about going to the edges here. All right. There we go. I'm going to then just, I have inked up my edges here because you, um, you know, I don't like the white sticking out. And just to save on 
uh, time. I don't want to waste your time or film time. Um, you know, I just want to give you the crux of the matter here. Okay, so I've stuck that on the front there like that, and I'm quite happy with how that looks. And now, um, me, I'm using my other glue now, and I'm using this one because this is much more expensive than that one, but I like the fine nozzle, especially when I'm going to be sticking down um, my little die cuts. All right, it gives me that fine tip. So I have I've used the spring... Um, foliage one that I showed you last time with a pouch and I really love this um, fine detail of this so I want to just get this stuck down quickly um, I have had quite a few or while I'm just doing this I just had a couple of days of oh, feeling really grim um, after having my booster vaccination um, and we have to have it here you know um I think that they're going to put the screws on us if with where we can go out and restaurants and things if we don't. So um, I have had mine um, and I felt awful for the last two days. So I am sorry if I haven't answered back on a message or something. I've tried to get through everything I had to for the last two days, but not stuff that I didn't necessarily have to do. So I'm sorry about that oh gosh i wanted to stick this underneath see i'm talking too much okay let's just grip this quickly right pull up the little leaves there that's okay right i'm going to put on the lavender bit this is from my wildflower um dyes this is one of my oldest ones that i've ever had and one of my favorites and i've just used um cardstock here and um, the cardstock's in my amazon favorites list if you want to know the details this is um, a basil one, basil, basil, basil. You know, it's a bit like tomato, tomato. Who knows what the right one is? So I'm going to put this little lavender sprig underneath like that. Just want it poking through there. And then this green one can just go over the top there like that. Okay, so we've just got that poking through. And then, because I haven't had my butterflies for a while, I'm using my pastel ones for this project, um, which have got all the lovely greens, lavenders and things. And I just had to have one. And so I thought I would just add that just over there. Okay, so there we go. We've got our front pretty much done. And that wasn't too bad, was it? Pretty easy going. I love this picture. Love that there. Right, so we've got that bit done. We've got our little pocket at the top that we, we trimmed down our envelope. Um, if your flaps over here are open, which they often are, I've stuck mine down there. And I have inked all around the edges with my little ink dauber just to take away the white. Uh, and then that's an easy enough job. I have done it down the middle as well. Okay, so we've got that sorted. Now, um, the next little piece that I want to do is this bit here. Um, and I'm going to attach it uh, with this bit. So I need to do this bit and this bit here. So for this bit over here, what I thought I would do is I've just cut out um, the checkered, um, I nearly said fabric, paper from that kit. And I'm going to just stick it down. We working. I'm working with lovely soft colours here. And I do love the soft colours in this kit. So I'm going to just glue this down like that. And be mindful again of getting that really close to the edge. Now, of course, you could stitch this. Um, and if you were going to stitch it, uh, uh, especially the front, do that before you stick on the back, in my opinion. Obviously, everybody's different. All right, so we've got that sorted and we're going to stick this one down. I want to get it, make sure that I get it in place over there. A little bit further down. So I get it like that and like that. And be mindful that you don't get it into the fold line there because you want to be able to, um, you know lift this up without it impeding on on the fold the flatability of this so there you go you just get that nice and straight okay so we've got that right like that 
And the next little bit I've cut is just a little pocket. I'm going to, um, where did I have it? I have the, the little piece of ephemera from the ephemera pack called Blueberry Muffins. It's on that dotted paper. I have just backed it onto um, my lace paper, which I've used for other pages in this kit. I've put on a tab there and I've stitched around that one. Now, just a little trick, as I've shown you before, is just to flatten those bits there so that the holes um, don't look, you know, everything lies nice and flat. So there we go. So I wanted a little pocket for this. So I've taken this backing page here and I'm going to stick that on over there um, so that this can fit in. And you can see it's just ever so slightly bigger. Now, if I give you some dimensions here, um, this is an estimate, guys. Uh, you're looking at 11 and a half centimeters. That is, I think, that is four and a half inches. So you're looking at four and a half inches on 11 and a half, and you're looking at just short of four inches or 10 centimeters. So that's what that is. And I'm gonna just stick this down on the three sides. I've made a little notch there with my uh, one and a half inch circle punch, and I'm going to just use my glue here to st stick the three sides. So we've got a little pocket on the edge here. Okay, so now I want to just see one, two, three, four, one, two. <laughs> Who am I kidding? Right, so we can get it pretty straight with the lines here. And let's just hope I've got it as central as I possibly can. So there we've got our little pouch like that. Right, and um, we'll stick that in in a minute. Now, um, I've used the crochet die, which is another old favorite of mine. And um, I wanted to just cut this in half. So I've got this, I've, I've cut this out of the, the polka dot um, paper. So that's what that is. And I'm gonna just stick it on the edge here. I think like this. And then I've got a couple of other bits. So I've cut out another one of these from, this is from the, I think this is called the Mason glass. Um, I'll just cut that bit off there. Uh, I can't think what it's called. I did show it to you before, the Mason jar, jar one. Also, these are all just tumults. This is just a fussy cut flower of mine. That's from my fussy cut flowers. I want to just lay this up here and just give it a little bit more of a pretty girly look so i'm just taking that and one of my sentiments do more of what makes you happy because it's january and we all want to be uplifted with that hope and joy element so i hope you've been following along with that on the instagram um collaboration with rachel and bella which i've been, been enjoying and i can't say that enough now i did actually want to stick this lace on and you can see i haven't done so so we're going to um i don't think i'll be able to get this up now um, so it'll have to go on the outside like that, which is fine. I'll live with that um, and I'll deal that with that in a moment. So let's lay this up here. So I'm going to start with this one over here and I'm going to just put some glue on there. Right, uh, I tell you, the sun has just made a little um, appearance this morning. So I thought, oh, let me get this done because I see... There's a nice band of cloud coming over and it's going to go all dark again. And even though it is um, light, I've still got to have my light on here so that I can see and you can see what I'm doing. So, yeah, it's definitely the heart of winter. I can't think. Yeah, it was like this. So we'll put that one over there. We're just do, working with these beautiful soft colors, which I absolutely adore. I do love and that what is that that's a geranium i think a geranium soft pink edges with a white middle on flowers beautiful i can't wait for spring to see all the beautiful flowers emerge again whoops um so i'm looking forward to that but i see that the bulbs are, are blooming so that's lovely um i do love bulbs i've got beautiful iris bulbs um in my kitchen and they are gorgeous 
Right, so we're going to stick this one down now. A lot of these fiddly, gluey bits. I wonder if I had to take a little sponge and, and like dob it on if that would work. I must try that. Uh, <laughs> because this can be quite fiddly, you know, and take a lot of time. So I am sorry about that. Okay, so let's get this one stuck down. We want it just a little bit over, I think. Just a little bit over. Like that. And then just do more of what makes you happy, as I said. Absolutely, I'm with that all the way. You know? Bring joy into your January. That's it. Joy in January. And lots of hope. Right, we'll stick that just over there like that. Right. Righty ho. Okay. Now, I'm trying to just have a look here. And see. You see? Even I make mistakes. But there's always a way. So I'm just looking for... A little opening here to fit in my lace <laughs> so I'm just sort of getting it in between the, the paper here so we don't need to go down very far so let's try and just get that in there right I just want to uh, touch this in here so I'm going to just put in my little Fabri-Tac glue just to get it on the edge and just hold that bit up and Fabri-Tac's more forgiving so you know, you you can get away with more. Got more time to get it um, in place. And this is going to be fiddly now. So guys, if you're watching this, get this done beforehand like I was meant to. But that's okay. It'll still work. It's just to show you, you know, that even I don't remember things. <laughs> even though I clipped it to the envelope. Um, and that sometimes that you just got to improvise. And there's nothing wrong with that because who's going to know? Nobody. You know, nobody's going to know. Except all of you watching me. Right, so there we have it. And now we can just put some fabric tack on the top of that, like that, all the way down. We use our little bone folder to stick that down, like that. And um, all done. Just take that little bit off there. There we go. Happy with that. Who's to, any the wiser? Right, so we've got a little bit of lace. That was from my lace from my uh, Christmas um, journal that was left over. I'm waiting to um, the, for the postman who's meant to have brought me some samples so that I can choose the ribbons for of this uh, and the lace so um, as soon as I have that I'll let you guys know what I'm using okay so this little one here can go into that pocket there so we've got that sticking out we want to do this little bit over here now and what I've done is um, I'm going to put the ribbon let's just start with the ribbon so I can get my act together right I've cut out a little piece of paper here from the the pink check um, and that's just to fill up this area here, depending on the size of your envelope. I do it in in half. I, I fold it double. It, and, and, and you know why. It's because it, I feel it gives me the strength that I need. I don't want it to tear. I mean, can you imagine if you spend hours making something or you've bought a journal from somebody and it, it breaks? I mean, that would be horrifying, wouldn't it? So I do like to make pockets double the, the strength just to... Especially with this fold, it just gives it longevity, in my opinion. You know, that's just me. Right, so we've got that bit there. I'm going to stick on a little bit of this Christmas ribbon, which was also left over, which I thought went really well. And I'll do that before I forget about it. Because I, clearly my brain's not working well today. So <laughs> I need to gather myself. Yeah. I hope everybody's in, I'm looking forward to a great weekend and that you are feeling hopeful and inspired, ready for the joy of crafting this weekend. 
That would be amazing, wouldn't it? Right, don't use the blunt scissors, Angela. Use the fabric scissors. There we go. Right, so I've stuck that on. I have remembered. Um, and now I'm going to just use the secret ingredient is always love. Because isn't it just? Those are the best cakes, the ones that are made with by um, somebody special, definitely. So I've put on some glue there. I'm going to stick that smack in the middle. I hope. <laughs> I hope, she says. And then I've taken another little butterfly. This one's a little purple one. It's also from those pastels. Um, I pulled the butterflies out the cupboard and cut a few. I'm going to just stick that on there. It just sort of brings that lilac feel through. Right, so we've got that. That's our little pockety bit. Um, sorry, glue. There's glue everywhere here. Um, and then I've taken this backing page and I'm going to stick that onto the side here. Right, so just like that. Okay, so let's do that quickly. Again, just make sure you get it close to the edge so that it's going to stick down well. Use a strong glue unless you're stitching. There we go. All right, and then we'll get that one done. And again, mindful of the fold line. So I've got that down there. Move that over a bit. Right, so we've got that one perfectly down there. There we go. And now we've got this little pocket that we're going to just stick down over there like that. So let's just put some glue on the sides there. What's that? Oh, no, that's all right. We just want some glue just over there. Um, and I'm quite generous with this glue. It doesn't look like it. This is a very strong glue. But I'm being quite mindful, especially the top bits over there. Right, now we want to just get that in place like that and hold that down for a moment okay i'm going to let that dry before i put anything in there and show you so um you can see over there we've got that bit like that we've got that bit like that i'm going to put some ephemera in there but i want to show you the tag that i'm going to make on the top so let's just leave that to dry for the moment just want to make sure i've got this nice and flat right so we'll just leave that to the side um and now i'm going to just show you a tag that i'm making for the top all right so first things first i am going to take this ribbon out this was me um doing this earlier um and i'll get to that in a sec i've just taken um a very large tag to fit into that large size which is a five inch pocket this tag is four and a half inches wide and that's a five inch pocket um and it is so that is 11 and a half centimeters that way the height of it is one two three four five six seven inches high so you can write a lovely recipe on the back here this is the backing paper and uh, this is the card I stuck it on card so you can stick a recipe on there or you can write a recipe out. I've just stitched around it and um, distressed it and I've put in an eyelet over there and I've taken two pieces of ribbon and let's just see. They are about 14 inches in length. Um, this is seam binding, um, which I had and I've got it uh, two lengths, the equal length here. So you've got it in half and all I'm doing is I'm just making a bow with the two pieces together at the top there like that. All right, so that's all I'm doing there. Then I'm just pulling those apart, the little loops like that. All right, so that's the top of it. And I'm quite happy with that. All right, I'll faff around with it a little later. All right, so we'll get to the rest of that in a minute. Let's just pull that one there. Now, um, for the other bits here, what I've done is I've taken one of the tags, so this one here with a flat top, um, and I have stuck it onto the polka dot paper, 
and then the paper that has all the adverts on so bring in some black and white contrast so i've just laid it up on there um and i've stitched this piece just around there you don't have to do the stitching this is going to go and onto the the top of this over here like that however i've taken one of those tabs that are in the add-on kit um, and I'm going to just stick it on the side here before I stick this one down. I'm trying to get my order right now. I'm not have to show you something that I've messed up. Right, so I'm, I'm reminding myself of that. Okay, so I've done that. Now I want to just stick that on the side here. It's just giving it a bit of detail, really. So um, no other purpose, just, you know, decorative detail. I'm going to just stick that on the side there. Just get that straight. Right, so I'm pressing that down. And... I'm going to end up putting that there like that. All right, so I can stick that down. There's nothing else I want to do there. Um, and I've stitched this before so that I don't have stitching coming through on the other side of my tag. Um, so I can write on it properly or stick something on there. But of course, you can do um, the stitching afterwards if you don't mind that. All right, so we've got all of that down. Now I want to just get this. Um, I'm going ever so slightly to the left of this for a reason. Um, so I've got it like this. And I'm getting that stuck down. So there we go. Okay, I love how that looks. And then again, I'm going to just take uh, Live, Love and Bake. Uh, one of the mini ones um, of the sentiments and I'm going to just stick some glue on that one as well all right and then we will put that I thought here was a where did I have it I had it here so I'm going to just put it there and there like that all right so I quite like that and then I've taken one of my mini pink pastel butterflies the smallest one on the sheet and um, I've just, it's a little bit, um, it's a pinky one. And I'm going to just put this over here. Right, I just thought it picked up some of the pinks in there. So, and that's our tag. Right, now what I did at the top here was, I cut out on the circle pages. You'll see there are four circles. I cut out this one here and I cut it out with my die cut. I have got a punch, which I've ordered it. It's two inches. Um, I've cut it with card on the back there. And then what I did was I've put a little tiny eyelet in there. Now, <laughs> I had I was going through my metal bits in, in my stash here and I found this little one that said believe, which I quite like. But then I also found one that's the theme for the month, which is hope. So I don't know if I should put the hope one or the believe one. Um, this is the believe one, the hope one, um, which is quite nice. Or we've got the believe, believe in yourself, believe better things are coming. You know, I do like these positive reinforcements. So, you know, believe you can bake this cake. <laughs> uh, so I might go with this one. I quite like the silvers. That's sort of a pewter color and I love pewter. But these are the Tim Holtz little um, tokens that I've had for a while. Um, so I'm going to just push this into this over here and I might change this, but I think, you know, let's just get that on there. Sorry for all the glue and things all over the place here. Yeah? I have great fun peeling it off later. Right, so we've got that there. We've got our little ribbons. I'm going to put that one there. I'm not sure what I'm going to do, really. Um, and now let's just put the rest of this together. So um, for this bit over here, I was going to put in this tag. Now, this tag I just used last week. Um for my project to show you the theme of hope and joy and uh, Marcy asked me um, how did I get those on there now those weren't on here what I did here was I took my little stamp set 
you know, these contact stamps. This is the make, contact. Uh, I've got them in a jar. They all click together. And um, I created hope and joy with my um, archival ink. So that's what that is. I have just stamped it onto scraps of tea stain paper, which is this, like this. And then I've just cut them out and put them on there. That's all that was. So thank you for reminding me because I didn't say that at the time. I had no intention of putting this actually in the pouch. It was just to show you that was the theme for the day uh, with that collaboration. But I'm going to put it into this uh, piece here because I quite liked it. And then this is just another piece of ephemera um, about a flour mill. And I've packed that onto um, the usual lacy paper that I like to use. So I'm going to put these two into this pouch over here like that. Um, and we've got our little one in there. That then is going to close and then we're going to put this big card into the pocket over here. And then I'll just have that one hang out a little bit over the top. All right, so that's that. Um, we're going to now stick that whole thing into the first page of our journal. So here's the first page and we open that up and we've got this lovely lacy page over there. And this I'm going to stick down on that side like that. All right, now I'm going to, you can stick this on two sides and then at another stage, if you want to put, um, make a tuck spot and put other recipes you gather in the back there. So for example, um, this is like my lemon drizzle cake recipe that I have written out in my kitchen. I've just grabbed it. If you've got something like that, you might want to just tuck that in there. So um, I'm going to do this as a, um, a tuck spot so I'm going to uh, just take my let's just say now so this is the side I don't want to glue so these are the sides I do want to glue something and on the edge there like that right and then I'm going to just close this like that and get that onto my page like this okay that's just so that I know it's not going to extend beyond where I want it to go. And then I'm just going to press that down like that over there. All right. Oops. And that one can just come around that way. And there. I might put a little ring on there. Um, we'll see. Okay. So there's our very first little project in our journal. And that's the middle, just making sure. <laughs> yes, that's right. Okay, so there's our very, very first project. Um, I hope that you guys have enjoyed that and had fun. I really like how this is coming together. Um, and I hope that you guys do too. So you've got a little tuck spot here. As I said, you can put in your recipes at the back there. And um, we've got another place to write recipes on the back there. And, of course, our little um, tags and things on the inside as well. Okay, everyone, thank you so much for following along with me. Go and give it a go. This could work in any theme, as I say. Um, I'd love to see what you think of this. And, of course, your um, I love seeing what you guys produce and post in my Facebook group as well. So I look forward to um, all your comments. Um, leave me a like if you liked it um, and I look forward to seeing you very soon with another little video on Sunday so stay well and stay safe thanks everybody bye bye